Hello and welcome back to Rob's PC Workshop. Today we're going to be learning about variable length subnetting and implementing an IP address scheme to uh, networks. So we're given the private IP address 192.168.1.0 and that gives us 255 possible um, uh, IP addresses. And we need 50 for one host, 50 hosts for one, and 40 hosts for the other. So we're going to subnet them out to where we have 64 possible hosts on either uh, device. So we're going to start assigning host addresses to the devices. First thing we're going to do is go to our configuration and assign addressing available addresses to uh, our network so we're going to fast Ethernet 00, 0 which connects through the switch to host a and we like I said want 60 63 64 possible hosts so we can have uh, at least 50 and we'll actually have 64 because with variable length subnetting you have to go in bits and each bit has so many uh, hosts so we're going to start with 192.168.1.0 for this so that's going to be 0 to actually we're going to start with 1 because 0 is our network address and then we want 192 for our subnet mask leaving us 64 possible uh, addresses. <clears throat> um, and we're going to make sure our fast ethernet is on. And then since we started with 1 here, we want to start go 0 to 63 is our uh, possible network addresses so for our next address with 40 hosts we're gonna start with 64 and then that's our network address and we're gonna make 65 the IP address of the uh, network so on and then again we're gonna subnet it out where we have 63 uh, available IP addresses. Turn that on. And now we are connected. Now I'm going to go into my desktop, configure, make sure my IP address is configured correctly. 192.168.1.0. And since we used one for our network address, or for our, um, our fast ethernet address, we have to use two, which would be the next one available in our uh, addressing scheme. And then our fast, or our default gateway, that's what, that's what the dot one dot one was, so we wanna make sure that's the same. And now I should be able to ping the router from my command prompt. And as you can see, they're on the same network. They're connecting and pinging each other. And we could do the same for uh, host B here. Just set its IP configuration, 192.168. I'll do that. You can watch me. And then 66, because our default gateway was uh, 65. Now let's make sure we can ping that.
and it timed out because it took a second to get configured but uh, as you can see now it's correctly pinging so let's try that again doing the wrong one it's dot six five not uh, six four so let's try that again try six five this will work all right there we go bam uh, see I put in the wrong address and it's like what are you talking about but I got a reply from six five so I told it to ping six five and there we go it's all connected so um, that's a little bit about variable length subnetting. Um, uh, I hope that's been helpful. Have a nice day.